Hi. I just found my papers for the presentation that I'm doing. It is about how people can affect bees. And my question is, are people bad for bees? I'm Robson, and we're going to start with the starting page. So, are people bad for bees? We can be. No pun intended. So, first, we buy pesticides. Some farmers do, if they're not organic. We buy poisonous pesticides that can kill the bees. It might be for mosquitoes, it might be for roaches, it might be for weeds, but it's very bad. And bigger, and bigger pesticide companies push and people buy it. And then it doesn't even work fully. Next, we have deforestation. Deforestation is when, as shown in the picture, you cut down a lot of the forest and you use that wood to make paper, build houses. I don't know, maybe it's just to clear out land. Deforestation is bad, and a lot of times they haul out the logs, which is bad because the bees use the hollowed out stumps and tree logs to put their hives in, or nests, whatever you want to call it. These are only two examples, but they all lead back to, I'm sure there's more, all lead back to, what do you think they lead back to? People. Just people. And when you, when you don't use pesticides or you minimize your paper use, I did not for this, um, you are helping a bee every day. And a lot of people don't know that. They don't think of bees. And this chart, green stands for what's pollinated by bees, and red stands for any other pollinators. In www.greenpeace.org, in their article about saving the bees, it says that 80% of food we eat or about 70% of the world's nutrition, maybe it said 90, I don't remember, was pollinated by bees. And it also said that bees can pollinate 300 million flowers in one day, one single colony of bees. Thank you, bye.